Black Panther movie review. The movie that um, breaking boundaries, social norms. Yep, everyone should watch it. Yep. Uh, if you notice, we're playing the Disney Lion King. It's because uh, MCU is now bought out by uh, Disney. And uh, yeah, we thought we'd pay homage to. Um, yeah, everyone's under the same family, right? So, yeah. Circle of Life. So, some things to look forward to are um, spoilers, mad spoilers. Don't listen to this if you haven't watched the movie. Or watch, listen to this and then watch the movie. You'll understand what's going on. Um, it's up to you. Do whatever. Yeah. Support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Socratic Gamers. Merchandise. Pick up a tea at shop.gallamaffair.com. And uh, like, share, and subscribe on YouTube, iTunes. Yeah. Let us start. Two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Uh, this one is a movie review uh, versus a weekly roundup. Although our weekly roundup is that we're going to talk about the most important thing that happened this week, which is uh, Black History Month. No. That's the month. That's Is this Black History Month? Yeah, it is. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I was just I was using it as a segue into Black Panther, which was very um, socially driven. I liked it a lot. What do you think? Let's score it. Uh, I liked it. I'm going to give it like an 8. Out of 5? Out of 10. Oh, ooh, an 8 out of 10. Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. Um, I was going to give it, in the beginning, I was like, okay, this is like a 4.5. You know, like, uh, warning, spoiler alert. Lots of spoilers. Uh, so it was going to be like a, a 4.5 in the beginning, but then it bumped itself up to a 5 out of 5. Okay. So I guess the 4.5 times 2 is a 9? Sure. Yeah. So it was like a 9, and then it became a 10 at the very end. <coughs> um, only because I really like superhero movies, and this fell in line with like all the other great ones, like uh, uh, the first Iron Man. It's it's not, though, it's not like the best of the best, though. Like Everyone was overhyping it a little bit. It was good. Mm-hmm. It's probably the best Marvel. Would you, would you say it's the best Marvel one? Best Marvel one. There's so many out there now, right? So it, it's hard because it's like if you don't call it the best one, then you're kind of like, are you like, are you like a hater? You know? <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like, but not really. It's like if you look at it objectively as a movie, it's like it was great. It was definitely uh, up there. But I don't say I didn't beat any DC movies. Like I think Batman vs Superman and Dark Knight were two of the best superhero movies ever of all time. Okay. Um, but <laughs> many would disagree. <laughs> For the Batman for Superman one, yeah, 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 yeah. I, know, I know, but I love Batman for Superman. It's sick. Yeah, yeah um, me too. But in terms of like Marvel movies, I think Logan's Logan's probably number one for me. Well, what's number one for you? Yeah, Logan, but it's not part of their Marvel universe, though, right? Would yeah, but still, it's part of it's a Marvel movie. But someone else made it. It's not Disney, right? It's not best, part of that universe. All right, fine, fine. The best MCU <laughs> movie. Uh, I'll give. Hmm, what would you say is the best uh, MCU? It's tough because I really like Guardians. Guardians is good. Not the second one. The first yeah, one. no, the, the second one was terrible. But um, uh, I'm, I, you know what? I'm going to give Black Panther the best MCU. I think it was pretty good, yeah. The best MCU. I know. But that's... in terms of Marvel movies, like Deadpool was up there and Logan was up there. It's hard to beat those two movies. But in terms of like... Yeah, but those are... Yeah, if you just consider all of them, yeah. Deadpool yeah, and Logan. Uh, with, with their only... Thor was really good too, though. Oh, but yeah. still, but still, in comparison to this one, like I really liked. Um, so let's just talk about the movie then. So what did you what did you think? We'll go uh, uh, important part by important part. So it opened up with. Uh, I knew that that kid in the beginning. So if you watch the movie already, you'll know what we're talking about. So in the beginning of the movie, they're showing like uh, the old king, like they're showing like um, Oak what, Oakland. Like gangster kids, yeah, yeah. Playing and they're like playing <laughs> basketball, and then like they go to like the scene where I thought they were gonna rob something, but then it turned out that they were a part of um, the uh, Wakanda tribe. Like, so what Wakanda does, they send out like spies into different areas of the world mm-hmm. to like keep an eye on what's going on while they maintain secrecy of being like a third world nation. But in reality, they have like this like a uh, cloaking device that like hides their city, <laughs> you know. So they they have the best tech in the world. Um, but I would say like, I thought that was really cool how they did that but I knew that little kid who was like shooting the basketball he kind of looked like the main bad guy I think that was good casting oh uh, 
I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think I noticed that. I when I first saw, I was like, "Is this the main bad guy?" But then I was, it was like, I don't really know. But then when it turned out it was the main bad guy, I was like, I knew it. Like I could feel that mm-hmm. they're trying to tell me that mm-hmm. that was the main bad guy. Yeah, I don't think I did notice that though. I didn't. I didn't realize that the um, the spiritual leader guy was um, was actually the guy in the scene. Like his. The, actually, you could see a little bit you after. Could, after after when they when they <laughs> said it, and then you go back, you see his eyes are all like yeah, yeah a little like, off. They kind of like uh, they kind of did that yeah, same yeah, thing yeah, to the yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah. I so the reason why I got four point five is because in the beginning, uh, when they did the first challenge scene, that was boring. I found that was kind of boring. It was a little like I there get why they were doing. There were a few parts it. that were boring. That's why I can't give it a perfect. Yeah, I got you. I got you. But but it pulled through in the end because it was like it, but it was the social context that really got me. Mm-hmm. It was like they were they were using the movie as a platform to talk about like Black Lives Matter. You know, right. it's like. Um, like everything that so what was really interesting is like the main bad guy i thought that was the main bad guy was probably the most the most epic bad guy of the MCU. yeah see ever. i think that's the that was the thing um yeah, yeah. yeah. i i the, I, the, the thing was uh they had an a bad guy that was the most under like you understood why he was yeah, yeah, yeah he for was, sure right yeah, yeah, yeah agreed agreed and it was like and it made complete sense because it was like um uh, like like he was like a kid of like um, mm-hmm. like he was his dad was killed and then like he fell into the stereotype and then like he joined the army and then after joining the army he learned how to kill but he really wanted to kill to get back to Wakanda yeah you know and then he set up all this stuff and like he was like he's like the perfect spy soldier that's who he like turned out to be you know what I mean <laughs> yeah and like uh, I thought that was really cool um, and you empathize with him because he was like he was using American tactics to um, take over the world, mm-hmm. right? He's like Wakanda's got the strongest whatever, and like we're gonna use that to like show our superiority or whatever. We're gonna like all of our people are dying and they're hurt out there. Yeah, and, like yeah. we need you know. I thought that was really cool. I was like, yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. And it was funny because like the the white the white guy the spy he was like oh. Um, uh, the white the white spy guy he was like oh CIA, yeah, yeah. The CIA guy he was like oh that's how we trained him like they're like oh who's Killmonger right and then it's <laughs> like and then like oh that's one of our guys and you're like oh snap it's like are you a good guy or a bad guy right. I can't even tell at this point you know because you did root for him you know and I liked how at the very end of the movie when he was dying he's like you know what I'm not I'd rather be free no no I like how he said it too he's like our ancestors knew that it's better to be free than to be a slave. I mean, better the to die. That, the ones that died, yeah. Yeah, better yeah. to die than be a slave. That yeah, was to be really, bond, bond yeah, or something. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, that was that was a good line. So that, there's some that dark. was a bit cheesy though. Like, it. Uh, there were a couple moments when they were mm-hmm. hamming it, hamming it up to put like a performance or like give you a lesson about like Black Lives Matter, but like, it was still good, you know. Oh yeah. Like it felt I, a bit I, cheesy I, at those points <laughs> for me. I was like, why are you like going off right now with right. your like. You know, mm-hmm. but I, I don't yeah. know. I think I think it was, I think it was good overall as to what they've done. Well, what do you think about the tech? I thought it was a bit too alien for me. I was like, this is like, well, it is from an alien next. thing, right? No, it's well, it's from an alien like um, resource, but like them having to create that knowledge. I like how they made it all like uh, realistic. It was like Wakanda's like fifty years ahead in the future. When, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. when the dude was like, oh, that's that's mag- magnets, right? She's like, yeah, of course. And it's like, but he's like, but I've never seen it to this this level of mm-hmm, use before, mm-hmm, right? Right. And I, I was like, that was a cool way of saying it because it was like, it was logical, you know? Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. no, this is stuff that we, we have now. It's just, it hasn't been fully, like, figured out yet. But the Wakandans have figured it all out, mm-hmm. you know? What do you think of the suit? I thought that was kind of weird. The kinetic energy? Yeah, like, I thought the suit was cool how it was like, <laughs> as long as you're wearing the thing, you're actually wearing the armor. It's just invisible. Right. That was sick. If you're wearing, like, the necklace thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I thought was kind of cheesy is the more he got punched, the more he could dispel, like, energy that he's been taking in. Right, yeah. yeah. That's kind of corny. I was like, mm. I don't think, I think, like, when we first was, got Was that in, in the comic book? I'm not sure. Or that's just something new to I the, think that's something new that they put. Yeah. yeah. But, like... I know that, like, when they first, had, like, introduced Black Panther and Captain America. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I liked him in that one. You, you didn't like Black Panther? No. No, I didn't like him Cause, either. Because I think it got overshadowed by like, Spider-Man. 
Yeah, true. Because they both introduced yeah. him at the same They did, same and movie? Spider-Man was way cool. Oh, Spider-Man was a really good uh, MCU movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> okay, Spider-Man versus Black Panther. I really like Spider-Man. I did, too, but I, oh, I, I, so still, go for, I still go for Black Panther. <laughs> Cause, you know why? Because it was like, the only difference between Spider-Man and Black Panther was when you're watching Spider-Man, you're watching like a little boy. So you can't really like look up to a little boy because you're like a little boy. But like Black Panther was like awesome. So you're like, okay, I, I could yeah, take it did, some like, yeah. it's more motivational than like watching a little kid in high school with his high school mm-hmm, problems, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like the Wakandans like were, they were, war- they were super warrior. I thought like- No, I did like that too, like seeing those female warriors. Oh yeah, that was really cool. That yeah. was pretty cool. But what I really liked too was um, how they had the challenge match, like before you had the king. Uh, but it seemed very ceremonial, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of like, oh, they just do that, you know, to like appease old traditions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, because nobody wanted to challenge the T'Challa for the crown, right? Except for the people that have been, like, pushed out. Lived in the mountain. Well, they Lived didn't push the out. They left, right? Ooh. But then it was cool how, like, later on, those people were the ones that helped T'Challa. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, like, a life for a life. That was pretty cool. He was using some Brazilian jiu-jitsu there, yo. Like, his, his final tap-out move was, like, a... Like a it was, like, a Oops. triangle, yeah. but it was, like, a modified triangle. It was really interesting. I was like, oh, but... With that, when he was fighting the... Um, the first guy. The first guy, right? When he's yeah. fighting Killmonger, oh, he was outclassed, man. Like, Killmonger's oh, yeah. been training forever. Like, he's, a like, a martial artist. Yeah, it, it kind of made sense, though, too, right? Yeah, and you, you could see, like, T'Challa didn't even have that much skill level. Because, mm-hmm. like, in, in those, uh, the challenge match, he loses all his power, and then, like... But it's kind of like, that's why I got bored, because it's like, okay, unless Killmonger shows up right now, but when they did it a second time, it was like... It was a like, I just too... felt like either the, the, the fight, he already lost the first one. Why would he win the second time? Like, he didn't... What do you mean? Uh, fought, uh, when he fought... Um, the mountain guy? No, not the mountain guy. The actual, the enemy, the... Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. He lost the first, right? Yeah, but what they were saying is he didn't lose because there was no conceding. He just fell off. He got thrown off the thing, but he survived. Yeah, but he didn't learn anything different to, in order to fight him better. No, they both had superpowers. The second time. Yes. No, right. no, no. But they were he still wa- fighting with... Yeah, well, but even then. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But, but they... Because, like... I think they, that's the one of the things I didn't understand. It, but, like. but, like, uh, in that one, they had no powers, and they had no... Only, like, basic weapons, like... like uh, no, no, Like, tribal yeah, weapons, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, like, he was using all of his, like, super weapons on the, the final fight, you know? They both had their powers back. Yeah, but and, then they um, still even... No, 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 but no, but no, no, but like, I get why T'Challa won because T'Challa has been using those t- those like power ups for longer. You know what I mean? Like he's like, okay, I'm gonna throw out my like supercharged ball, and I'm going. He knew about the whole kinetic energy and that the suits would shut off. Yeah. If they were inside that zone, mm-hmm. right? So it's like, it, it's like. Like, although Killmonger, Killmonger, the reason why he won, I would say, is because he had more experience without superpowers, right? He was, he's been fighting without superpowers for so long, right? And then T'Challa won the second time because he's had more experience using the suit for longer. Mm -hmm. So, like, I feel like he won because of the suit, you know? Yeah, I don't know. He didn't even last that long without throwing. Who? Who? Killmonger? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. He didn't last that very long. But I like, I like how he was putting it. He's, oh, um, did you think that the the girlfriend, boyfriend, or husband, wife were going to fight each other? One of those two people. When oh, he's right, like, right. He's like, are you actually going to pull this on me, my love? Yeah, like yeah, 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 And then she's like, for Wakanda, I would. Mm-hmm. So do you think that maybe they're going to break up now? Well, he did Concede? drop down his sword, right? That's true. Yeah, I know, but it's just like, dang, so you know the limitation of your relationship now. Yeah. You know, For your for country. What did you think of the, uh, I really like the whole spiness of it too. Like how they went in and then they like, because they're supposed to be like not, not rich and not like super powered. Right. So like, um, when they were in the casino place, I thought that was really cool. Cause they were doing it very James Bondy. Yeah. You know, they're like, <laughs> cause they weren't like going in guns blazing. They're trying to figure out through like deceit. Mm-hmm. You know, I like that about the Wakandans that they use spy tactics because they don't want to pe- let people know that they're a superpower. Yeah. So they yeah, have yeah. to do like very covert things. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. Um, what was the other one? Uh, yeah. What, what'd you like from the movie? 
uh, I mean, it, it was a good question, like the whole, because he was dealing with what his father had done, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. I for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because so that was the big, wrongdoings of his. So that that was that was a big twist. Uh, you find out that the father actually killed his own brother, and then uh, T'Challa uh, was like, "You're wrong" to his father. Yeah. Right? He's like, "You shouldn't yeah. have killed your brother." And same with the son was like, "You shouldn't have killed my dad." So it was like T'Challa and Killmonger were on the same side. Mm-hmm. So it was like, but that's why at the they end, were, yeah, like, they were like they had exact same points of view. Yeah. Of her, just but one was going through peace and one was going through war. Yeah, right. Like they both wanted to come out to the public now, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But T'Challa yeah. was like, we should, we should tell people who we are. Yeah, you know. So there's very little differences except for that one part. Just yeah, different ways of yeah. approaching a problem, either through chaos and yeah. war, or like control or um, acceptance. I would say. Yeah. I like, don't know. Is that yeah. how it is in the comics too? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not. We don't know. We haven't read the comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know. Um, but yeah, that was that was a cool part of the movie. How like they were actually on the same side, and but it was funny because like uh, kill uh, T'Challa was like, oh, uh, we can we can still heal you, right? Mm-hmm. When he when he got stabbed, and he's like, that's when he was like, he chose death over being like a slave. Yeah, I don't know. I think I really liked the uh, the main bad guy, like the way he made him. Like his style was sick. Like how he looked like a rapper in the beginning, <laughs> you know. Well, he was Americanized, right? He yeah, was. That was kind of cool. Like, he, yeah. It's also the. You know, it was very stylish. It was, it was the face of like. He looked like ASAP Rock. Africans versus, you know, African Americans kind of. Thing. Oh, true. It was kind of interesting that. I didn't thing. even catch that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the changes that's happened to him. I like I like the shoulder shrugging, like when they were doing the war. Uh, oh, the, the right, battle right, scene, right. and then they were doing like the shoulder shrug as the beat was going. <laughs> that was sick. That was hyping me up. Yeah, they had some good music in there, too. Yeah, uh, so I was watching an interview. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, before they finished making the movie, they yeah. showed him a uh, special screener of it, mm-hmm. and he was making the beats to the movie. Um, oh. Yeah, like, while right. he's watching it. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? Like, so, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kendrick had a lot to do with the soundtrack there. That's why he had, like, original songs and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I thought that was cool. Like, they're, they're going pretty heavy on, like, the... Um, the American African like um, problems right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was, it was a good. statement video. Yeah, I think that was cool. That was cooler about the movie than Spider Man. It had like a message. Like it was trying to make a statement about society. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, versus like Spider Man. But like, yeah. All, the other thing was like, you know, it took. It also took an African to help them, help I mean, their people out. Who? Like, in America, like at the end of the movie, when they bought out all these those homes for them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So so that was a cool thing in the end. I of think the movie. that was cool. Um, T'Challa, he's like, okay, we're gonna do an outreach program here in o- Oakland. Was it Oakland? I don't know exactly. I forgot the name place. It's been uh, a few days since we watched the movie. What, what was that? It's, it's um, in it's in California though. I think it was in California. Yeah, uh, the 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 is Theos Lee Beasley. This this uh, skateboarder I like. Uh-huh. He's from there. I think it's Oakland. Or Inglewood? No. Inglewood? <laughs> Frank, no, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it said. Um, no, no. Never mind. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm confused. I just can't remember what that place was. But wherever it was, he, like, bought up the whole complex and stuff. And he's like, this is going to yeah. be the um, this is gonna be the site of the educational center. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to head up R&D for science. That was kind of cool. That was funny how they made the kids so, like, like, straight up. Like, maybe that's true, though. I don't really know, but it was, like, very stereotypical. They're like, yo, we can break this up and sell it for parts. I'm like, <laughs> okay, yo. Either that really happens in America, or you guys are, like, hamming up our perspective. Cause, I think like, it does happen. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like how they were playing on the, the milk carton basketball. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. That was, that was that's pretty That's pretty, cool. uh, pretty ghetto. <laughs> did, you, did you notice that, like, Wakanda looked very, like, Tribally, even though it was very um, yeah, it had a mix. Futuristic. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was like a mix of like futuristic and tribal. Mm-hmm. You know, like they still stuck with their traditions. Yeah, uh, and so, so so how do you feel about that? Do you think that they should have hid from the rest of the world or help the world out? Um, so I think well, he he they did do the right decision. I agreed with that they should help them out. Help the world. Yeah. Okay. When you have the resources, why not? 
I guess, yeah. But like you're, when you're hiding away, you're really, it's more like, you know, you're, you want this to yourself only. That's what it looks like. I guess, but like, I kind of feel like, like I, I almost agree with like keeping it a secret. Because it's like, how are you going to do this? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, it's like, um, oh. could you imagine like, no, so, so, all right, good example. So the American, mm-hmm. this is another reason why it wasn't, uh, why I agree with keeping it a secret, is the, the CIA guy, he was like, he, when, when they caught the, uh, the Aussie guy, and then they're like, he's like, oh, like, you don't even know the, the, the weapons that you have are nothing compared to the Wakandans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the America was like, wait, what? And then, because, like, it's all about, like, who has the biggest stick, right? But if you show, like, Wakanda has the biggest stick, it's like, then people are going to fight you for power, you know? Because they're going to be like, well, why does what you say go? You know? Mm-hmm. And then and then countries are going to be like, can we take them out, you know? I feel like there's more... There's more at stake if you show all of your cards. I think they should do it more like politically and economically. Like nobody's allowed to visit Wakanda, nobody's allowed to see Wakanda, but we'll give you tech from time to time. You know what I mean? Right. I don't think they should issue visas. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I, I that's just how I kind of feel about that whole. Yeah. No, I think. Uh, well, it depends. It's we're just it's a made up place. It doesn't really exist. <laughs> no, 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 I know, but it's just so the political it, ramifications yeah. of it's like. Like I just, I just feel like um, I agree with the old father versus the new school of like, like it, it, it's almost like a, it's almost like how everyone's like, oh, I want to save the world. It's like, yeah, but in saving the world, you're subjugating them to your own perspective of how you think the world should run. Mm-hmm. You know, so the Wakandans are just gonna fall under that exact same, um, that exact same paradigm now. They're gonna be like, oh, we should do this, and then countries gonna be like, no, and then the what's the Wakandans gonna do? Right. You know what I mean? You're eventually going to end up ruling by a stick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we don't know that, but I think they should know. People should know. Should know? That they, like, they should spread their message in a sense. If they can oh, help, I mean. I see, I see, I see. Um, I guess, but, but that's what I'm saying, like, give it out, like, slowly. Like, like, oh, like, we'll give you this new tech now. And then, like... When you guys are ready I don't know about giving tech, tech necessarily. That could be different. So then what, what would you give them? You, you can help. You can't give them economic power because Wakanda uses their own economies. Yeah, no, I'm saying like what they were doing at the end of the movie. They weren't giving out tech. No, they were saying we can help you. Help them. Oh, you mean like, oh, the outreach program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, see, I see, I see. I don't think you need to give weapons. How does Wakanda even, if it's a closed society, how do they even get their money? I don't know. But how, how does, like, because how can you buy the building if you're, if nobody takes that's Wakandan that, money? That's, that's the, uh, it's a little bit of that's a the movie, uh, pitfall right there. Because <laughs> you need American money to purchase that, but who's going to buy Wakandan money? Mm-hmm. You know? Unless they're doing something to their, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, that's true. Like, I don't understand how that would work. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. They weren't really explaining that. I thought we were going to see, like, a, um, uh, like a show up from one of the other superheroes that would have been kind of cool uh, like a, like a, like a spoiler oh like, like, and, like yeah I don't know I, I thought like uh, we would have seen like Cap America or something I don't know that's what, what I'm saying yeah perhaps. exactly well we did see Bucky Barnes yeah, at, the end, at the end yeah. that was a spoiler ultra spoiler alert uh, so I was reading that um, they called him Grey Wolf uh-huh. and Grey Wolf is uh, oh White Wolf sorry I think it's White Wolf. Okay. Um, And White Wolf is uh, the name of uh, T'Challa's father's adopted uh, son, and he's a white white kid. Oh. And he he heads the Wakandan special forces. Mm Mm-hmm. So it's like uh, Bucky Barnes kid. They could do a thing where like Bucky Barnes becomes the White Wolf, and then he's head of special forces. Oh. Yeah. Because they were already calling him the White Wolf. Yeah. So two, there's two ways this could go. They're like, oh, White Wolf, like the, he reminds them of the White Wolf, which is the white um, Wakandan. Mm-hmm. Or he becomes the White Wolf. I see. That would be kind of cool to us. Like, uh, there was on, like, yeah, I like Avengers, some of those. Yeah. In the in, in, is it Infinity Because uh, there will be, yeah, there will be. Yeah, that's the next movie that everyone will be in. Well, what's the, uh, when does that release? I think it's in May or June. Ooh, okay, okay. It's not that far so, away. So that would be really cool if you go to it and then you see that Bucky Barnes has taken up the mantle of what they call White Wolf. 
You know? mm-hmm. And he like he stays. That's what that's what some predictions I was watching are. He's I wonder gonna, what like, the... he's gonna fight for the Wakandans because um, they saved him. Right. I wonder how they're gonna do the sequel though. What's the story for that? For uh, Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like Doctor I don't know Strange. much about. Yeah, I don't know. It's like I don't know what they would do. You know. Uh, uh, now like it it has like, to happen. It's gonna happen after Infinity War, right? Of course. So yeah, something yeah. has to happen that affects all of them, or something. In Infinity that, War, that continues after that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, Captain America: Civil War. That was interesting. That it wasn't an Avengers movie. It was a Captain America movie. Yeah. Civil War. And it had everyone out of them in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was Civil War the same as the comics? I can't really remember now. Like, why did they? It was somewhere. Why they separate because they wanted it, to it, it register was, all the people. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's the same as the comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, it was just Captain America that disagreed. Yeah. With the government, American government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Iron Man and. Well, which side was Wakandan? The Wakandan Black Panther on. So I, it showed up in the beginning of that movie. I don't think he was choosing a side. He was just going after the guy that killed his father. He didn't care. When did his father die? I think it, that was in Captain America. Civil War. Yeah. So, because that's that's how they introduced him. Oh right, right, right. His father died, and then he he kept trying to go for revenge. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right. He didn't have a side. Oh yeah, he was just like they were just at the UN meeting. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah I remember. Yeah. Yeah, Black Panther is pretty cool. He's very strong. Well, I involved. enjoyed it. It's not a bad movie. I think it was one of the good movies from Marvel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What are they gonna do about the um the superpower plant? Remember, he's like burn it all. That's so oh, funny. yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah. He's like, So no one can that. become Black Panther anymore. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So he's the last Black Panther. <laughs> Allegedly, unless they make another one. Unless they like, randomly find one. Oh, there's one that still exists. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I was wondering about that one. And it's like, it only took one plant. I thought they were going to give only one plant, and it was going to be like, oh, it's only half the serum. I thought they were going to do something like that. Like, oh. you're, you're weaker now. <laughs> because like you didn't get the full serum. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, but they didn't pull that off. They oh. like one plant was good enough. Yeah. So it's like so then why were you guys hoarding so many plants then? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. But yeah. yeah. Well, what would you think about the uh, astral projection plane? I thought that was cool. But I was thinking I was thinking about this. If you look at it like hallucinogens, so it's like they gave him the plant and then he became like he went yeah to that's like what a, I was thinking yeah. right like it was a hallucinogen and like because it was the more like you were faced with your own suffering yeah you know because it wasn't like I don't like because if you look at the way it was yeah. um, the father when the T'Challa was there he had like a good experience because he saw his father again right but that was his greatest suffering because he missed his father mm-hmm. right and then they went to um, uh, that other guy Killmonger and he went to Oakland and then um he was faced with his father again, but it was like his, he was like a boy, you know, he was like suffering from not being accepted. Yeah. So that, so it's like, I feel like they're hallucinating, they were going through like a spirit journey of like, you took like the mushroom and now you're like focusing on like what you need to change in your life. Before yeah, you yeah both, kind, both kind of had like a father issues. Yeah, they did, they, they did, they did. It's funny, like, it, it's almost like, uh, it's like, I like the way they did it, that it was like, um, the Wakandans are very spiritual yeah. and they were using like a psychedelic to make themselves stronger, mm-hmm. you know, which is like, it's not uncommon to like, uh, I heard that the, um, the Norse people, the, uh, Vikings, they would, they would often be on mushrooms, like right. to supercharge themselves or like, uh, some sort of stimulant to keep themselves going. That's why they seem very powerful, but they weren't really powerful. It's just, they were like enhanced right. through like the, uh, hmm. psychedelic, which is kind of like what happened in this movie. But you know, like I think a lot of old traditions they, they do that. Yeah, they do, yeah, they do. Like a lot of um a lot of like tribalist stuff yeah. relies very heavily on like um they call them like plant medicines, but yeah. Mm-hmm. They showed that in that movie that like he went on a spirit journey. Spirit quest. Oh yeah. cool. No, I mean like Yeah, yeah, yeah. No 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 I know, I know, yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah. So uh final final thoughts? You think it's one worth seeing? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things. Has it changed? Is it still uh, number one in your MCU list? Uh, yeah. I mean, it it's the latest and greatest. I know. <laughs> it's but just still, hard. To Iron be. Man was really good though. When I first saw Iron Man, I was like, "Wow, nothing beats this movie. This is the greatest super movie, superhero." That movie was so time. long ago. It was so long ago. It still holds up the test time because I like him as a character, but it's like, 
in terms uh, of like so much has changed though like but yeah, yeah, yeah that's true the but way of storytelling how a lot has changed exactly yeah, yeah but in terms of like movie movie making like uh in, in terms of like um I mean, overall I, message I don't even like, think Disney had Marvel at the time no they didn't yeah, yeah. No. now they've making I think a lot of great stories yeah that's, yeah that's true they do make a lot of great stories so is it so uh, so it's still number one in your uh, MCU list not the current list yeah yeah I'd give it i give it number one Infinity as well. War could beat it Infinity War could but it's like it's I, tough I to just, you work with all characters exactly you, know, exactly. you have to really give them all like enough story, story time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I just like, like you gotta focus on somebody like this one almost everyone has someone you focus on yeah, yeah right yeah. it's either they focus on Thanos yeah, yeah, yeah until like I don't know I don't know how they're gonna do it. I, it's I, really difficult I just liked the um, the message in this one and how they worked with like technology science and uh, nature yeah they like they, they like unified mm-hmm. you know um, the like the art and science of everything yeah yeah. That that's why I thought this movie was really cool, and then they were tackling like social issues, and I've never seen that from a uh, Marvel movie before. Mm-hmm. So, do you think it was like a, a game changer? Like everyone's saying, like this this movie like redefined superhero movies. I don't know about redefined. I don't see anything that was different. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, I don't, I don't think it redefined anything. Like I think um, Dark Knight redefined a lot, mm-hmm. um, but I don't think. Um, like it's still part of that. It's not like changing the whole story of Marvel universe. You know what I mean? It, no, but like just added the way they to... told the story, like oh, the visual effects and like the the fact that they're talking about social things now. It's like uh, it's like that yeah, was those yeah. were good, but I don't think it was like out of this part, out of the world. I think they had to talk about social things because of the kind of who they're t- the story's about. Maybe? Yeah, the demographic. That's it's true. Just the main character and I heard that this is the most uh, sold out, um, most pre-sold tickets of all time yeah pre-sold yeah they were pretty good but I don't think they're number one February blockbuster oh really something beat it they were short yeah something I read I forgot now what what movie what movie beat it I think they said it was the Compton movie what was that Uh, Compton the one in Compton what was that one I think that was February release uh the one in Compton was it the straight out of Compton Straight to Compton? Yeah. Oh, you're saying like for the month of February yeah, yeah. of all time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Straight to Compton. But like, I don't though. think they're the yeah. number one in amazing. Marvel, though, yet. A oh, Black uh, Panther? Yeah. Ooh, wow. I don't think it was. I'm not 100% on that one. Okay. Yeah. I so, just like, had a quick glance on that. So, final data. final score? Has it changed? No, it's still the same. Still 8 out of 10? Yeah, I'm still going with 10 out of 10. I just can't give it perfect. There's, if, if I find things that are boring, I just can't. Like, some parts are boring. Or but not boring. It felt I, a little long. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. There were some setbacks, but the thing that made it a ten out of ten for me was the fact that, like everything, all things considered, it was a ten out of ten. But if you look at it, it did have some flaws. You know, some boring parts. I agree with you. I was like, oh, this this feels a bit dragging. Yeah. But um, but that's why I was like, oh, it's a nine out of ten in the beginning, but then, all things considered, definitely a ten out of ten. No, I, I just can't. You know, they got to always strive for better. Do you, you, do you can't have an MCU perfect. that's 10 out of 10? No, I don't I can give... I think it's difficult to give anything 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's true. My, well, for me, my... Because my something's got to improve. Or well, yeah, okay, that's true. My, my 10 out of 10 markers are the movies that you must see. Like, that's how I gauge it. Okay. So it's like, if I would recommend the movie, it's definitely a 10 out of 10. Well, no, there's some movies I'd recommend <laughs> are not 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I just think it's sick but yeah so uh, what can we look forward to next I guess next week we'll just do another uh, weekly roundup yeah weekly we roundup I don't think there was much of a s- anything in the yeah let's just do a quick quick week do you remember anything this week well we were saying uh, Valentine's Day which is just a marketed holiday there's um, which is fine it's better to celebrate the next day y- you know everything's cheaper <laughs> that's true y- you know Eros er- Eros the son of uh, son of um Aphrodite, mm-hmm. and I forgot who the other one is. I think it's Aphrodite and uh, the guy Hephaestus. I think it's them. Him. Yeah, uh, but he's uh, he's Cupid. So oh, like okay. Eros is a little boy who like has wings and shoots arrows and then mm-hmm. makes people like fall in love. Yeah, and but that's Greek mythology. 
and you go to the Roman mythology is there's a guy named Cupid mm-hmm. which is we're derived from uh, Roman ideals and that's why we, our marketing is heavily geared towards uh, Christmas and like people like Cupid who the Romans believed in but now we believe in the almighty dollar which is even more Roman because they were very uh, commercialist yeah. yeah anything else anything else this week Nope, I don't remember anything no. else. All right, so Black Panther Black and Panther. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what was that? Valentine's Day. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I think I had wanted to say something. Now I forgot though. Oh no, I, you posted that video of like the robots that are just like in uh, uh, that show. Um, in Black show? Mirror. Black Mirror, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah they're getting there. Those, yeah, they're getting uh, there. Robots really? are getting closer. Yeah, I saw that. If, if you haven't seen it. Um, there's a video of two robot dogs. One holds the door open for the other dog to walk through. Yeah, you, you cool. gotta see the whole video on YouTube somewhere. The arms actually come out. That's sick. And then turn the knob, open we'll, it. We'll look for sticks it. Sticks their leg out. We'll look for it. Pulls the out. door. <laughs> that's pretty. Just... That's pretty intense. <laughs> it's funny how like Black Mirror is a very good like um, predictor for future things. You know, like they're very like a lot of what they say is like, I could see that happening. The but the dystopian future. I guess yeah, that's way. true. Yeah, it's necessarily well, no, going to go in that uh, direction. The, the doesn't mean these robots not. will go in that direction. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I mean, the video game one. Like, we just think of the, f- the worst thing that could happen. No, no, but the video game. Remember the first one? The yeah, video yeah. game one? That wasn't very dystopian. The guy was just messed up in the head. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Look forward to the future. Um, MCU, Black Panther, top of the list. Avengers Infinity War coming soon. Mm hmm. Is there another superhero? Is there a DC superhero movie coming out? Before then? I don't think so. When does uh, Deadpool come out? Oh, that's... That's March that, or something, that's, right? That's Marvel, though. Uh, I think so. That's kind of soon, too. That yeah, had a good trailer. Yeah. That was a good trailer. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do know. I yeah. don't know when exactly. So our next movie review will likely be Deadpool. Unless we see something in the theaters. I'm not sure if that's coming out before. Is it? I think it's coming out before. I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll if see. it's coming out before, it'll be Deadpool. And then... And probably Avengers. Boom. All right. So till next time, uh, go check out Black Panther. Spend your money. I'm probably going to watch it twice, three times, four times, seven times. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Till next time. All right. Wakanda forever. Yeah. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs>